solid hit off of Cannon. And Eskin going for two. Should have been out, and he is safe at second base. Northeast High School's Howard Eskin ruled safe at second by Trudy Haynes. Robin Garrison with some able help, I would assume, from one of her children, or perhaps her only one, but nonetheless out there is an arbiter as well. Scott Palmer now steps in. Eskin chased back to second, but Palmer is going to be safe. One out here in the TV newspaper third. They lead it 7-0. Now that Larry Rosen made that running catch moments ago. Two for two in this game, if memory serves correctly. Steve, aren't you keeping score? It's still 7-0. <laughs> <laughs> Rosen rips one into the dirt for a base hit, and the embattled Cannon now has a bases loaded one out situation here in the third for that Carl Churkin. Mark, another interesting thing is that PAL youngsters pay nothing to participate in the program. And also, uh, every youngster is uh, able to participate in the program no matter what their abilities. So that means whether you're the 10th player on the bench, everyone uh, has an opportunity to participate in the program. Turkin down the left field line, but it's foul. One ball, one strike, the count to him. And sports makes a terrific medium to communicate. I think it breaks down a number of barriers. The youngsters uh, feel very comfortable uh, in, on the playing field, and I think that should be carried over into the classroom. Turkin almost hits a couple of Cubs who are heading out to the bullpen. Churkin with a one ball, two strike count, one out here in the third inning. These limited edition official Phillies logoed Waterford baseball paperweights have been donated by and are available exclusively at John Wanamaker. One, two to Churkin, fly ball to left. This will probably score Eskin from third. Catches made, Palmer tags and goes to third. He's rounding, going to come home. Throw is over the head of Cannon. Here's Rosen rounding third. He'll score, and the TV newspaper team is putting it on the radio team. It's now 10-0 here in the third. <laughs> Lenny has nothing to fear. <laughs> Although Rosen, I think, if they were giving out an MVP award, might be deserving of at least serious consideration tonight, Steve, head of PNC Bank. I would second that. I think this is one of the reasons why I stopped playing softball. Well, Clark DeLeon finds a gap between the right and center fielder on a little blue pit. And yes, Clark DeLeon is going to rumble around the bases and score again. <laughs> Well, he has whitewashed the radio team tonight with his pitching, helps his own cause with his hitting, 11 runs and 15 hits. I think that deserves a full page for Pal tomorrow. Oh, yes. Inquire columnist Clark DeLeon. A lot of fun tonight before the Phillies take on the Chicago Cubs here at the Vet. Richard Neal, the police commissioner, is on hand. Big swing by the cleanup hitter, Neal Hartman, to left field, but the out is made. However, more damage has been done through three. Tack up four more for TV newspaper. They lead it 11-0, but stay with us. Anything can happen. Isn't that right, Chris Wheeler? Okay, we're back down on the, uh, in the field in the Phillies dugout on the first base side. And with us, we're very honored to have Commissioner Richard Neal. And, Commissioner, how important uh, is PAL uh, to the overall uh, the police department? Well, PAL is extremely important. When you think about the issue that uh, we have about 16,000 young kids in uh, PAL today, and uh, the program offers alternatives to those kids, that it's an alternative in a sense that they can come out and participate in recreational activities as well as academic, academic activities. Uh, it's important for the kids to be able to interact yeah, he's doing with positive great. He's role doing models. Great. Um, I just left a, uh, a uh, discussion earlier today on the issue of violence here in the city, and uh, 
what um, some of the uh, organizations within the city can do about addressing the issue of violence. PAL is a statement in that right direction in terms of what can be done to address it. When we consider the uh, many young people who are engaged in uh, violence and some negative activity, uh, here's, an all, here's an opportunity to direct those energies in a positive vein. Uh, I tell you, uh, many times I look at some of the volunteers that participate with us in PAL, and these are people from all walks of life. Obviously, some very prominent people here in the city are very actively engaged in PAL. And when you see that level of commitment that they bring to these young people, it lets you know that uh, this is not a labor in vain, that this is a very worthwhile program. I ask you the same thing I asked uh, Officer uh, uh, Dennis uh, Jones when he was down here a little while ago. When you see people who come to you and are directly affected by PAL, what's it like? What kind of a feeling is that for you? Well, it's it's important and it's significant. Uh, I mean, when I, I look into the faces of some of the young people who uh, are currently participating in PAL and who have been a member of PAL, and you can see how uh, their life is on course, how they have a positive attitude about themselves, and that they're uh, very excited about what their future holds. And, I, and I'd like to see that in the faces of all of our young people. Thanks for coming by, Commissioner, and uh, congratulations on the good job you're doing here in the city of Philadelphia. Thank you. Glad to be here. Police Commissioner Richard Neal, back to you, Mark. All right, wheels well done. We're here in the fourth inning of this PAL Celebrity Softball game. I'm with Steve Head, a vice president of PNC Bank, a member of the board of directors, and at one time a participant as a youngster in the PAL program. As that Don Cannon, who takes great pride in his athletic prowess, has been bombed and burned tonight here at the vet. It is an evening he will not long forget. Able to salvage something here with a base hit to left field, but is it too little too late, Steve Head? No, I think it's the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm optimistic. Radio needs 11 runs. The question is, will the Phils and Cubs step aside and allow them to get them all? <laughs> Chris Knight of Star 104 with a base hit. Palmer, who's been stellar all night, there goes the shutout as Cannon races around third and scores, and it's 11 to 1. And now, Knight was almost hung up. You don't want to do that down 11, now 10 runs. Only the fourth hit off of that Clark DeLeon. Now Lee Richards, Eskin cuts it off, looks the guy back at third, gets Richards at first, but the run's going to score anyway, and it's now 11 to 2. I always hear a lot about the PAL boxing program. That seems to be uh, quite a program that PAL runs. Well, that was uh, curtailed several years ago, probably because of insurance purposes. A lot of the programs that have really come into prominence in the last few years are the educational programs. Oh. And uh, a lot of the, um, the crime prevention programs with the sign-ups and, and the visits to City Hall and career days are really expanding on some of the other programs that are more practical. Andy Hopkins, who is now at the plate. Hopkins, the midday host at WPEN. We're here at Veterans Stadium, in case you're just joining us. 15th annual PAL Celebrity Softball Game. It is 11-2, the TV newspaper team leading the radio All-Stars who are hitting here in the fourth. As Hopkins fouls it for a strike, it's one and two. The radio team has won seven times through the years, including the last two. The TV newspaper team has won five, and two games have ended in ties. Back it out of play. And again, we'd like to give thanks to the wonderful corporate sponsors who go a long way to helping us here, not only in the celebrity softball game, but helping Pal all year through as Hopkins gets a base hit. That's uh, Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. Nine out of ten use it. Campbell Soup Company. Mmm, good. Core States Bank, N.A. You know us, we know you. Pet Boys, America's Automotive Super Center. Telerespond Center, Inc., specialists in raising funds and public awareness. One out single by Andy Hopkins. 
and Paul W. Smith. The morning man at WWDB Radio, no doubt, will be hitting the sack very shortly after this. Tries to go up the middle. Hartman plays at second. Good takeout slide by Hopkins, but Hartman holds his ground and records the putout. Two outs here are the fourth for the radio team. Luke Klein, who will soon be honored as a broadcasting great in Philadelphia to the left. Jim Fergosi, the Phil's manager, and Lieutenant Jose Melendez, the head of Powell to the right. As Hartman has it go over his glove for a base hit. And Smith, down nine runs, knows no discipline. He is tugged out by Eskin. And that will end the inning. And it may end the game. We'll have to see. Yes, it does. As Pat Shiraki raises her hands in triumph at home plate. And indeed, it has been a big win. TV newspaper now closes the all-time gap to 7-6 to six as they win it big here by nine runs over the radio team, 11-2. to two. Stay with us. We'll be back to wrap it up here at the Vet right after this. John Latour, a dangerous career was the most comfortable life he had ever known. Johnny, you want to have lunch with me tomorrow? One o'clock, go by. You really think she means it this time? New Year's Eve, she had her chart done. New Year's Eve and out. No acid house, no product, no delivery. What do you do with all your money? It's not that much in the first place, it's as you know. Free. Mary, you don't have to avoid me. I'm straight. You do it. We were magical. But John Latour is about to wake up and discover that everything he has is about to change. This wouldn't matter to you, but you're making a hassle. What? What do you see? What, what is around me? I see a woman who has betrayed you. You tried to kill me. Johnny, what is this? Your beeper broke. There's danger around you. It's very close. Someone I know died tonight. This was not an accident. This person was murdered. Somebody sold her. Somebody upscale. Somebody classy. I got a problem. I need a piece. A piece of what? A gun. Johnny, it's business. Jean-Claude Van Damme always makes an impact. Now, get ready for Van Damme times two. Now, it'll take both of them. Express service. That's what I love about you. To handle one of her. Please fasten your seatbelt. Double impact. The Phillies tighten their grip on the division with one more game against the Cubs. Live from the vet, next on Prism. The home stretch is here. With Steve Head of PNC Bank and a member of the board of directors of PAL, the celebrity softball game, the 15th annual, has concluded. I mark Zoom off here at the Vet, 11 to 2. Steve Head, who'd have thunk it after the radio team had won the last two straight years? Well, it reminds me of some of the games when I, that I played in as a youngster. <laughs> Larry Rosen, you were three for three, made a great catch, but I got to tell you, unfortunately, I was going to tell you that we didn't have it because we were in break at the time, but as you could see, I'd be lying. Well done, my man. Oh, yeah, you've seen that a few hundred times on softball diamonds around the Delaware Valley. Thanks very much, Mark Zumoff. Where's uh, Neil Hartman? Skipper, the best thing you did was throw it out there tonight. No, I'll tell you what, Clark DeLeon, he had a he had a perfect game for the first two winnings tonight, right? And then finally we allowed them to score a couple runs. Great defense, Larry. I'll tell you, Larry and Scott. Scotty had a great play as well. Tell you, we just did the job today. Hitting, fielding, did it all. The thing that's so impressive, obviously, aside from helping bring the PAL message to people, the size and the scope of this field. And there's more people here than there's been in previous years because there'll be a bigger crowd as the night goes on. Your sense of that? Yeah, I think this is my fourth year, third or fourth year of doing this. And this is the biggest crowd I've ever seen here. And there's a lot of the PAL people that are here. And 
You know, it's such a great cause. I, we do the basketball game as well at the Spectrum during the wintertime, and it's a great cause because uh, you'll be able to see the kids uh, uh, that are able to benefit from PAL and all the people that get involved, the police officers that on their own time get involved. It's just a great cause, and uh, we obviously have a lot of fun, but the best part is our three-game losing streak is, has is, come to an end, right? Neil, you're like me. You spent a lot of time chasing some of the major leaguers for pregame interviews and the like on Channel 17. I have no time now, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> do you think we earned any respect at all down here? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. I know Scotty Palmer went over to Mill Thompson. He said, did you see my catch? Yeah. I'm after your job now. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, a lot of the guys are here in the dugout. They're watching. I mean, they're just really? kind of getting a kick out of it. I know Mitch Williams. Look at Scotty's catch right here. Is that a great grab or what? I mean, that's Major League material. Yeah, Scotty's going to have that on extra slow-mo replay, and he'll have that going probably on his news for about yeah, the whole week. <laughs> he'll have it the whole week. But, no, I mean, the Major League ball players are out here, and they're watching. And, obviously, you know, it's fun for some of the people to be able to say hi to the Major Leaguers. You know, and also, I don't know if you noticed, but while we were playing, there were signing autographs yeah. over here as well, which is just a fun night, a great night. I didn't think we were going to play. Right. Yeah, we played. You did yeah. a great job. We'll uh, send it back upstairs for final comments from Mark Zumoff. Gentlemen. Indeed, a couple of guys who are pretty happy about this one. They end the two-game losing streak. TV newspaper over radio 11-2 to 2 tonight. Stay with us. We'll be back. There's a gulf in this country, an ever-widening abyss as big as the Grand Canyon, and nothing's going to make it go away until someone changes something. These are miracles, Mac. Maybe we don't have any experience with miracles, so we're slow to recognize them. You haven't been to the Grand Canyon. Earthquake! Get out of here. When you sit on the edge of that thing, you just realize what a joke we people are. I'm sorry. I'm never complaining again. Danny Glover, Kevin Klein, Steve Martin, Mary McDonald, Mary Louise Parker, Alfrey Woodard. My son. Say that again. Uh, I have more to say about this. From the director of The Big Chill, Grand Canyon. Yeah, get yourself to the Grand Canyon. Beautiful, huh? 15th annual PAL Celebrity Softball Game is history. And there, as a sportscaster once said, are the statistics. Steve Head, board member of PAL, vice president, PNC Bank, came through the PAL system. Now he's giving back. My man, thank you very much for being with us. You're welcome, Mark. Thank you. And it was fun, and it brought attention to PAL, and that's the main thing. Hi, Mark Zuboff. Join us for Phillies and Chicago Cubs baseball tonight at 7.30. That will be on Prism. It will be the third game in the series between the Phillies and the Cubs as the Phillies look to salvage that one getaway game after Chicago took the first two here on Veterans Stadium soil. Right now, the Phillies are holding a seven and one half game lead over the Montreal Expos right now in National League East. Greg Hibbert tonight will be going for the Chicago Cubs and Tommy Green will be out there twirling for the Phils as he plays the role of stopper tonight against the Cubs here at Veteran Stadium and on Prism. The game beginning at 7.30 as the Phillies look to hold off the very, very hot Montreal Expos as we go through September and the pennant race concludes in the National League East. So the Phils and Cubs coming up at 7.30 once again. For John Slovakian, our producer, I'm Mark Zimoff. Now, Roger Maris and the story of his best fan.